Hello everyone and welcome to Dermacure Clinic. I'm Eleonora and I would like to show you today microdermabrasion treatment done on client. How I would do that treatment on a customer step by step. I have another video and you can watch that video later how I perform that treatment on myself at home. So if you're interested to do that treatment at home and you've bought home device or any other machine can be similar to mine and you would like to do it at home on yourself, you can watch my other video. But in this video, I would like to show you how I perform that treatment on client, step by step. If you have any questions for this video or for any of my other videos in terms of is that treatment the right treatment for you, for your skin condition, for your skin type, or for any products you're wondering, should you use them with the machine? Um, please put your comments in the section below. So please don't hesitate to do that. And I'll be very, very happy to help all of you. So I have here my microdermabrasion machine with all the dials and the, the, um, the switch turn on and off. And I've got also all my um, tips. So I will be using the microdermabrasion, the diamond tip microdermabrasion, which I personally prefer. Um, and what are the benefits of microdermabrasion? One is um, polishing the skin of, of superficial layers of the skin, like the epidermis, so have evening of the skin tone, um, also tightening of the pores, improving overall the appearance of the skin, um, make the skin looking very fresh, glowing, um, really clean um, as well, and just looks very, very fresh. And also another one is improving the circulation, blood and lymph, we once improve the circulation we have fresh nutrients coming to the surface of the skin and because of that we will have that glowing fresh look but with the first method when we do um, polishing or removing the dead cells or helping the, the dead cell removal we call that process desquamation and once we remove our dead cells we of course have stimulated the cells underneath to produce newer healthier cells cells in the basal layer of our epidermis stratum germinative or stratum basal uh, to produce new healthier cells and those healthy cells will push up the old cells when we do multiple sessions let's say course of five six treatments we'll see a really significant improvement um, of the skin so i hope you enjoyed that treatment if you feel that um that video helps you please subscribe to my channel and like the video that helps me a lot to and motivates me to create more content for you so now we have to start with cleanse So I would like to exfoliate the skin and I will be using that daily microfoliant. I'll put a little bit here and we'll mix it with a tiny bit of water and we'll emulsify it with my brush. This is my favorite exfoliator for skin. Um, any skin type really, maybe not very sensitive, but anyone else can use it and you can use it daily. It's from Dermalogica. So I will pour a little bit here, a little bit of water here, okay? And I will apply it all over the skin. And we'll gently start exfoliating it. have also different tips coming with the machine so each of them has different uh, grit so some of them are really um, coarse some of them are quite fine same for like nail files so they have different grit like different strength um, I will be using for her like mid strength 
she has kind of even skin tone but it will help her a lot with that so i'll be using one of those now probably that one which is 200 and i will start with the treatment i can also um do change them and use the small tip for the nose so that's going to be the tip for the nose okay and i've got another one for the actual face it's going to be that one got the machine on uh, so i'll so i will just turn my machine on and um yeah it's on now and then i have the pose here so i can pause it but i also have the energy and the timer so i can set timer let's say 15 minutes for the whole face and i've got the energy which means how strong my treatment will be at the moment is one so let's see how one looks on the client so i can just do start And I also have that small hole here, which I have to put my finger on to be able to have the suction. So let's start now. I'll start with the forehead, just like that. And I will be training towards the nearest lymph nodes. If you have watched my other video, I've explained well that when we do vacuum suction, we will have to train towards the nearest lymph nodes because we need to help that circulation going through and uh, kind of improve it so all the nodes are here we have some here uh, here and also we have at the bottom just here so on the picture here you can see what are the nodes and we will be training towards the nearest lymph nodes um, with that treatment so similar to vacuum suction that's why it's combination of like vacuum suction and also mechanical exfoliator so let's start with the forehead and I would always like to say that for me it's very important to stretch customer's skin because that treatment is quite strong so we don't want any um, basically breakages, we don't want any bruising so we have to, we have to always stretch the customer's skin. So I'm just going to try the suction which is fine for me now but I need to check on the client anyway. So look at the customer's forehead so we're going to start from here and draining up to here. How was that? Yeah. Is it too strong? Mm. No? Okay. So I have it on one, which at the moment I'm happy with. I don't want to increase my suction and I can just carry on. Mm -hmm. You can see I really hold the skin. I really hold the skin. And I really improve the circulation. flakes from the skin obviously because we are absolutely um, polishing the skin basically removing the dead cells so there are a lot of dead cells here and we are removing them you don't want to press into the skin and you want to just release your finger and let go very good maybe three passes four passes on each side each stroke and we can carry on with the other side just like that skin we just want the suction to do the job we don't want to press because you can you know have some reaction it's not good you don't have to do that eyebrows good you can see how 
much that skin is on my tip good so now I can just do a few more here a few more here you can see the white bit and I'll be carrying on, on this side so let's say now we would like to do all the way from here to here so we try our best and I just want my client to kind of move so I would like my client to do that because this is really stretching for me and will further help me with my treatment technique okay with my movement so I will do that carry on okay so we can do that mm -hmm. so I can do that from here first and then from here now I will drain to here also a little bit of white ish here on the skin so we don't know the area and you can see that slight redness this is super good let's do slightly more just here you can see I really stretch my skin stretch my skin stretch my skin this is very good to just to do it better so now we can do actually the other side first, okay, one by one, and uh, we'll do exactly the same on that side, yeah, good, so let's do first this area. So we'll do first this one, because it's just easy for you also to see on the camera, and um, we can from here really stretch and do here. I just want to do the temple bit here because I did not, just here. So I will just do all of it. You can stretch like that, look, stretch the skin like that. And literally go down, down, and down, and down, and down. Good, that's fine. So now we will be doing the chin and then we can do the upper lip. So. The chin I'll be doing from here to here and from here to here. Just lift the chin for me and just go here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. You need to have really good control. You can see 
I stretch with the thumb, stretch and go. Stretch and go. Little bit. Mm -hmm. So bite a little bit for me again. Yes, tiny bit. And I can stretch more. You can see stretch more. same tip it's fine but I think the suction will be too much so I'll go to one and very good stretch so lift more as much as you can yes good and I will be stretching as well so we'll be draining from here all the way down to here to reach those nodes all the way down to here to reach those nodes okay one two three how is that I've changed it with the 250 for the neck because it was a bit too strong for her. So she needs to really stretch, okay? And we can do maybe twice, done. Maybe we can do once and twice and down. How is that? Yeah. Better. Once and twice and down. So I'm using 250 for the neck and 200 for the whole face. Sideway. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. But then on that side, just one second, just one along the jawline, along the jawline. Very good. How do you feel? So we will now change my tip with a small one for the nose. How do you feel? Yeah. Here on the side, like we have to really get to, to them. We need to make sure that the skin is dry. Otherwise, you won't have that good effect from like polishing. Skin must be really dry. I'm using some toner. Just because we've performed um, microdermabrasion and the skin can be a little bit irritated and you know it's slight erythema, this is absolutely normal, but it's good to calm the skin now and later on I'll put some good serums for hydration. So I will put some of the mask here. Okay, maybe a little bit more and apply on the neck as well. I'll just spread it with my little brush, okay? Just on the floor. already 10 to 15 minutes we can see that the redness is gone which is great I will turn the skin so I will apply those two serums yeah which are by Dermaquest so one is the um, Essential B5 Hydrating Serum, which is really good for hydration and one of the best sellers. And we have the Stem Cell Rebuilding Complex, which I will layer on top of the Hyaluronic Acid to have that boost and help re-epitalization. Re 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 so um, basically the uh, building up of new cells. So I'll be using 
like two pump for the face and the neck. We don't need much, just two pumps, absolutely enough for the stem cell complex serum. And I will just place them again, both face and neck. You can also put a little bit of that serum under the eyes. This is by Dr. Shamek and uh, I will be using that one as a SPF and also a calming cream after the treatment. And that's done. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you would like to see more videos like that, please subscribe to my channel.